Hello, everyone. Our next guest life story might remind you of the Oscar-nominated movie Precious. Born to a drug-addicted mother, she was in and out of foster care where she was sexually abused as a child. But unlike that fictional character, when Merlet sold in, tested positive for HIV, she took control of her life and turned it around completely. Learning she was positive was that aha moment where Merlet woke up and became conscious. Let's hear what she has to say. When would you get the diagnosis? That's the deciding factor. That's the point where you say, I'm going to live or I'm going to die. And see, that's the, that's the choice that people make. You either give up at that point and you tell your mind, I'm dead, I'm going to die, kill me. And you just physically give up and you stress yourself out, you stress your mind out, you stress your life out, and you dissolve. And literally, it is your mind that keeps you going and drives you every day. I know it's my mind that keeps me living. And we have Merle here with us. Um, I know that now you go by the name of Conscious. That's is that fair. correct? Yeah. So mm -hmm. tell us about that aha moment where you, you know, became conscious and why you decided to change you know, your name. When I when I thought about uh, the information that I had gotten in uh, my stay at the rehab. In 96, I had written a small journal about the memories that came back. Mm -hmm. And then probably when I did an internship in television, probably around 99, I published the book, Getting Unstuck, Girl to Girl, You Can Be Infected Indeed. And at that time, I had changed so many of the names, all the names in the book, to protect, you know, the guilty. Right. And so um, amongst doing that, I decided to change my own name. Mm -hmm. But not only that, I thought that and felt that at that point in my life, I was now conscious of all my decisions. Mm -hmm. And I no longer had an excuse uh, and never could say, well, I was drug addicted or I was abused. There's no reason for any of that anymore. So right. now I'm conscious of who I am, so I changed my name. Yeah, and I bet that's a good reminder every day, you know, to be aware of those things. Sure. Tell me I'm about sure. the moment that you learned that you were HIV positive, and you kind of mentioned this when you were just talking about your book, but sure. how did you contract it? Well, actually, um, I was dealing with somebody that was a woman that had AIDS. Mm -hmm. She had contracted it from her boyfriend. So they both had the virus unbeknownst to me. Okay. And so I had dealt with her and had sex with her for three years, unprotected sex. Okay. And that's, you know, my biggest message today. If I don't get a chance to say anything else today, you know, protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you have a choice today whether you can become HIV positive or not. Um, so we were with each other for three years, okay. and she had AIDS, and I contracted from her. And so when did you find out that you had AIDS, and, and what was your initial reaction? Well, initially I had HIV. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens to you at first. Mm -hmm. And... I found out when I went to a program, mm -hmm. it was a year program uh, for rehabilitation, mm -hmm. and six months, actually seven months into the program, I went and I got tested, and I found that I had the virus, and at that point I needed to confront her. My counselor wanted me to confront her, um, and I did that, and I confronted right. her. I was about to ask, did you ever see her again? Yes, were I actually Were you angry? Did. I mean, what was your, were you upset? Were you, I mean, what was your you, initial You know, thought? I think that... When I went into the program and I had regained consciousness, if right. I must say, uh, of my <laughs> going past. Going back to that theme. Exactly, yeah. going back to that theme. Um, you know, I felt relieved at that point that I could be alive and know what happened to me as a child because, you know, repressed memory is kind of a heavy topic if you think about it. Oh, you yeah. know, not remembering something from your childhood right. 25 years later and all of a sudden you got all this information. But, you know, as time goes on, you know, I get tested it. And I go back and I confront her. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a bad confrontation because I felt the worst of it had been, you know, told to me. Right. And um, when I got to her, she was on her deathbed. She had three T cells left. Wow. At that time, uh, the AZT drug was around and we really know the cocktails. Mm -hmm. um, and um, she was really on her way out. I took her for a walk by the pond. Mm -hmm. And we talked and she actually gave me, you know, I allowed her to... Uh, I, I forgave her, right. in other words. Well, and, I, I think and, that's and that's all so, about closure. Right, you know absolutely. What I mean? And I think it's amazing that despite all of the things that have happened in your life, you've been able to remain positive. And I know you t you mentioned you no wrote a book. Intended. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. You wrote a book about your life as well, and I know you wanted it to be adapted yes. into a movie. What's going on with that? What's the latest? Oh, it looks very good for the film. Um, the book is Getting Unstuck, Girl to Girl, You Can Be Infected Indeed, mm -hmm. by Conscious. And um, what it did was it, it was able to get some traction in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. We got um, an option by Showtime Films. But sometimes, at the end of the day, you want your film to be authentic. Right. You want your life story to be authentic. So um, the script that was presented was not as authentic as I thought it should be. Mm -hmm. And so now we have a, a script that I've written and 
had help with, you know. Um, we're going to be doing the film. I have Mark and, and, and um, Camille Lupa helping me. Amazing. I have Tori Hart helping right. me. I have um, Cheryl Donier helping it's, me. Yeah, and, and I Sarah think it's great Shulman. that you were able to take control so to say your own, your own journey and, and kind of have mm -hmm. uh, control over that. How is your health doing now? I'm strong as an ox. <laughs> you, yeah, that's I mean, I, 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 you know, if you look at me, the average person looks at me, you would not know I was HIV positive unless somebody told you today, clearly. Right. right. And so that's the, that's the whole thing. I mean, we have to start to be aware of what we're doing with our with people's bodily fluids. Right. Are you Making on any sure, medication? Or? Yes, I did start medication because my T cells started to drop. So the average person will have about 1,200 T cells. Mm -hmm. um, mine had started to get close to 200, so that they wanted to start me on a medication to increase. So my, now my T cells are about 1,000, maybe mm -hmm. 1,100. But what's more important is the viral load stay low. And right now I'm undetectable, right. which means if I take a test, th there's so many parts per million that will show up very, very small right. amount. But the woman that infected me, right. she had AIDS, and her... Her viral load was in the millions. That means so much saturation of AIDS in her, you know, right. HIV in her, her body. Well, her I think blood. one of the most important things that people can gain from hearing about your story is the fact that it can be female to female trans transmission as well. Exactly. And obviously World AIDS Day is coming up. Absolutely. Um, what would you like Monday. young people to know? If they can take one thing away from this segment, what would you like to tell them? Well, what I'd like to tell them is that I've seen um, the cayenne pepper challenge. <laughs> I've seen the cinnamon <laughs> challenge, and I've seen the ice bucket challenge. Mm -hmm. But I challenge you, young people, to give me a decade of HIV uninfected kids mm -hmm. that come through the school system. I've seen so many different kids come through the school system, and I challenge you to give me a generation of HIV uninfected kids. I like that. You Hopefully like that? our viewers can, can take you up on that. And thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I think you're a real inspiration in the thank fact you. that you were able to take all of that negativity, I don't want to use the pun again, but and turn it into positivity <laughs> is, is a wonderful thing. Um, you can learn more about Conscious at www.igotunstuck.org. And for more about World AIDS Day, head to worldaidsday.org or aids.gov.